or had a partner is the great day to go for some last zone would that be considered racist or prejudice i would guess so but that's what makes it funny right because racist jokes are funny <laughs> I'm thinking of that like Indian dude that always makes the racist jokes. So I'm getting, I'm getting again an, an energy collective. I'm getting again an energy of like, you're going to be incorporating some kind of like bullshit thrown at you. So if you're going to be dealing like with racism or prejudice or anything like that, or just like bullying in general, you're going to be taking it and you're going to be making like a really good situation out of it. Okay? Three of swords. Yes, exactly. <sighs> <laughs> the moon queen of wands reverse a time i feel like somebody's trying to tackle down your character or like you're you are tackling down your own character maybe or something six of pentacles exactly six, six of wands I feel like you're dealing with some kind of either uh, this heartache, this heartache feels like a, a humanity disappointment. It doesn't necessarily feel like just relationship. It feels like it could be just relationship. But even then, it feels like almost like larger picture kind of sadness. Does that make sense? Almost like I'm, I, I'm still getting something trying to tackle down your confidence or your beauty or your your light or something like that. Okay. However, like by being racist or prejudiced or, or uh, just mean towards you. But somehow I feel like you're, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like you're going to be taking that, th this darkness, this like um, unseen secretive, maybe a little bit like bullshitty energy, um, like voidy energy that's going to be thrown at you. And instead of you kind of like again like alchemizing it or instead of you like deflecting it or something you're like really going to become it so if somebody's going to be racist towards you you're going to be like like uh, i can only be, like talk about being gay or whatever right like so if somebody's going to be like yeah you motherfucking fag you're going to be like yes i'm a fag you know like you like the black people in america like 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 the n-word like they made it their own there's something like this, like you're making this sadness your own in such a way that like, I feel like a rainbow of like abundance forming over you. This seems like a rainbow of abundance to me, okay? You're taking something that is meant to to be um, like really uh, bringing your character into question or bringing your light into question or bringing your... Um, your beauty, your authenticity, your power into question, and you're making it a, a very beautiful success for yourself. This is some kind of sacrifice or some kind of like, uh, you know, shit like that. I'm hearing even like a purposeful, a purposeful heartbreak. Uh, for some of you, you're doing this to yourself in order to like, like level up again, you know? So six six, I'm hearing a lot of like material success, a lot of because six uh, is is the number of the world of material of the human, you know. Uh, so like again, like something about your humanity is being called into question. Maybe you're being like judged in the ethers, or somebody is judging your heart. Is what I'm hearing because I just saw the Princess of Swords as well. Maybe somebody misjudged your heart, you know. But either way, um, this 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 thing is really turning out in your favor, and it's creating some kind of um, very beautiful, very beautiful vortex-like zero-point energy-like flow for you. Okay, so get ready for like very easy, very consistent, and very. Um, light success uh to come in from this from this character assassination or heart assassination or light assassination or something okay it's like doing the exact opposite beautiful thank you so much collective that was your reading please do consider liking and subscribing i'll see you again for no one's in the maze